that we are on air. We don't know how we're doing it. I think, you know, uh, I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's just the adrenaline, uh, Sheikh Yusuf, but we've been up since yesterday. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My son has been keeping me up. He's nine days old right now. <laughs> I think I slept maybe two or three hours last night. I don't know how I'm staying up till now, inshallah. <laughs> you didn't tell me this. Mabrook. Sheikh Shadi. Jazakallah khair. Thank you guys so much for these kind of words. I can't wait for the next caller. I know I, I have faith that we're going to have another caller with another generous contribution. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that call, Sheikh, can you give us a brief reminder and remind the viewers about the wisdom of giving charity? SubhanAllah, Allah Ta'ala, the Quran made it very clear when he spoke about giving charity. He said that uh, the purpose behind, uh, behind um, the charity is that we, we, we purify ourselves, as Allah Ta'ala, the Quran said, خُذْ بِنَمْوَارِهِمْ صَدَقَةً تُطَهِّرُهُمْ وَتُزَكِّيهِمْ بِهَا Take from their wealth a charity wherewith you will purify themselves from their own greed. SubhanAllah. Okay. We'll take a phone call from Brother Ayman from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my name is Ayman and I'm 13 years. MashaAllah, 13 years old. Brother I Ayman. Would like to, uh, I would like to donate 350 uh, Saudi Riyal. MashaAllah, Allahu, Allahu, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. Beautiful contribution. May Allah bless you and reward you. Amen. Ameen. Bless your family. Amen. Amen. Zakallah khairan, brother Ayman. Brothers and sisters, we're waiting for your phone calls. The time is not tomorrow. The time is right now. Within this next hour, give us a call beginning right now, inshaAllah, so that we can reach our goal of $300,000. Honestly, I'll be honest with you. I'm not the type of person that likes to beg. But if, if it's going to be for the sake of Islam, then I would love to beg. I'm not asking you for anything for myself. I'm not asking you for anything for Sheikh Yusuf, for Brother Malik, for Sheikh Saeed. We're asking you for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and themselves. to help the cause of da'wah and as Sheikh Saeed is saying, for, for yourselves. This is for you. For yourself for you. so that inshallah you can continue getting the benefit of Huda TV. Like Allah we say, we cannot make new programs without money. We cannot continue being on air without money on satellite. We cannot, as Sheikh Yusuf said, reach out to new uh, areas and reach out to another 500 million people through cable if we do not get your contribution. So give us a call right now. Like I say, no contribution is too small and new com no contribution is <laughs> too say. big. Give us a call, inshallah. For the medical. So ch Go chance for, 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 uh, for a person to donate for sake of Allah the Quran said, من ذا الذي يقرض الله قرضا حسنا فيضاعفه له أضعافا كثيرة هو الجف هو اللي الله سبحانه وتعالى a a a goodly loan goodly loan الله تعالى هو multiplied for him in rewards and as well in in compensation in this life he will have better replacement if you believe truly believe Allah in Allah's promise then we should give it without any hesitation it depends on our belief our faith is it is it firm is it strong or not Subhanallah, Sheikh. Subhanallah, yeah, and uh, that's why it, it is. It is uh, the the charity is a, is a proof of iman, of faith that you have a faith in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah Taala will give you a better replacement and a better wealth. وَمَا أَنْفَقْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَهُوَ يُخْلِفُ Whatever you give, the Sacred Allah Taala will give you a better replacement. Subhanallah. وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ and He is the best provider. Subhanallah, Subhanahu wa Taala. So we have to be firm in our belief, strong in our belief. And we should, without any hesitation, help such cause. Excellent point, Shaykh. And I would like to briefly ask the viewers, did you enjoy the Ramadan program this Ramadan? Because I certainly did. We made Pioneer Women because sisters called and asked us for that. We bring you Osama every night, one step closer after Iftar, because you guys asked us for that. We bring you Ramadan's Pulse because it was exciting. We bring you Ask Kurdish seven days a week because you asked us for that. We bring you Islamic Jeopardy because you guys asked us for that. And then we made Share the Reward. You guys gave us the contributions and we made those programs. And we made a really nice screen for you guys this Ramadan for your benefit. So we certainly hope to continue that. And we hope that you guys can continue to con contribute generously to this channel so we can make even better coverage and even more programs. And we have a caller on the line now. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Go right ahead. Thank you for calling. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to donate uh, in uh, 1,000 riyal only. Mashallah. Don't say only. It's a lot of money. Thank you, sister. Jazakallah khair. May Allah reward you. Uh, 1,000 riyals, sister, it's not a small amount of money. It's, it's a, a substantial amount of money. We definitely thank you for that. You deserve more than that because it is an international channel. Thank, thank you, you so much, sister, for that one. Thank you, sister. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sister. Brother Farooq from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. 
Brother Farooq, Assalamu alaikum. Looks like uh, look, Brother Farooq, I think you're still with us. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Farooq. Looks like uh, the phone line was cut off, inshallah. Brother Farooq, please try to give us uh, a call back. Uh, Sheikh Yusuf, uh, brothers and sisters are waiting to hear from you. We're about 45 minutes away from the end of this, uh, of this telethon. Maybe, you know, for the benefit of those who tuned in just now, because you've you, you got to keep in mind that the other side of the world is just now breaking fast. Mm -hmm. America. Okay, yeah, we're, we, we now <laughs> are fasting and they're breaking yeah, fast. So uh, for those who are sitting there in California, the Rocky Mountains, where Kareem Abu Zaid is sitting in Denver, Colorado, those <laughs> in Central <laughs> the time zone in Texas, where I'm from, those who are in the Eastern time zone. So we want to recap a little bit and let them understand what's going on. Because if you turn around, what are these guys sitting here? What are they talking about money for? Can we do that after we take Brother Farouk? I think he's back with us. Is right he? Now, he yes, of yes. course. <laughs> Brother Farouk from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah, how are you, brother? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, my family and I want to donate two thousand dollars, inshallah. Allah, 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 May Allah reward you. Make this, this this is, Thank you so much, brother. Farouk. This is really good coming from you, and we ask Allah to bless you and your family. I mean, what I'm saying is, we need to recap for those who yeah. just came on, exactly. and they're saying, "What's going on? How come this guy just called up and said, I'm going to give some money? What's that all about? <laughs> what, do you guys turn into some kind of Islamic bank or something? No. But before you do that, Sheikh, we're going to take another call. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we got the <laughs> no, this is a good interruption. Out. Keep it going. Okay. I may not Go ahead, finish Sister, the story. Rahim, I believe. <laughs> We have Om Abdul Rahim, Om Abdul Rahim from the KSA. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for calling our program. Assalamu uh, alaikum, rahmatullah. I'd like to, inshallah, to donate uh, 5,000 Saudi Riyadh. Mashallah. Thank you so much for that contribution. 5,000 Saudi Riyadh. Thank you so much, sister. Sister, we certainly. 5,000 and a half. 5,000 and a half. 5,500. It's 1,000 and a half. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Sheikh, I know you're a businessman because you know the the conversion is very fast. Thank you, Sheikh. Thank you so much, sister, as well, for that generous donation. He's getting Kuwait. He's getting Saudi Arabia. International. Sheikh Yusuf, please continue. Yeah, basically, for those that just tuned in, you want to know what we're doing. This is not something we regularly do here at Huda, obviously. So that's <laughs> probably why you don't realize what's going on. But this channel depends completely on the generosity and the benevolence of those who believe and support this message of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Many of the people who work around this and are donating their time and effort, you know, they, they've gone as far as they can go. And we have about 40 people on the team around here. And we've got to be able to take care of them financially. They've got to eat. They've got families. We've also got the expense of connecting to this satellite. And it's every single second. It's not measured by the month. It's not measured by, mm -hmm. you know, the week or day or hour. Even it's down to the second. It's very expensive to do television broadcasting. I think you know that. So this is your chance to get the reward for taking Allah's message out to the people. Now, you're living in the West. A lot of you are watching right now. So if you're in Europe, if you're in the UK, if you're out in California, or you're anywhere in the United States, okay, I know. You shouldn't be there unless you're there for what purpose? The purpose of dawah. Because for us, you and I, we don't have any business being in a non-Islamic state unless we're there for some good purpose. You shouldn't be there taking from those people. You should be giving. And when you're there making money and having your house and your all little goodies and toys, you're actually taking away from them. And it is very wrong. If you're there to give them the message of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, then welcome. That's a good thing. Otherwise, you need to be where you hear the Adhan five times a day. Otherwise, you need to be in the place where you can do your Salah, where you can dress as a Muslim, where you can be a Muslim and not feel persecuted, not feel uh, oppressed. Shaykh so Yusuf, I heard uh, Brother Medic whisper the word, MashaAllah. He said it like that. He whispered <laughs> it, MashaAllah. So I think, I think, I'm not sure, but I think he has some really good news for us. I think that, Shaykh, that was an excellent and wonderful comment, and I couldn't agree with you more. And I think that we're reaching our goal here slowly, but surely with your wi words of wisdom to the viewers. That's all I have to say, Shay. It was very encouraging what you said. I, I just want to remind myself why I do what I do. When I first came to Islam, Malik, 
my goal was to get out of the United States as fast as possible because I saw it for what it really was. First time in my life. When I raised my head off the ground that day that I made my shahada, I realized that that is not a place that a Muslim should be unless they're there for this purpose. Yes. And many shiyukh, big scholars of Islam, have told me again and again, the only reason I have to stay there is because I'm doing this. The minute I'm not able to do this, get out. So if you're there, if you're living in a non-Muslim environment, maybe you've got circumstances beyond your control, you still have a responsibility to help get the message out. We're not asking you to become a scholar. We're not asking you to be Ahmed Didat. We're yes. just telling you, look, it's very simple. You can put your hands with our hands. Now first, begin with your hands in making dua. Mm -hmm. And then second of all, share this message with other people. Tell them how to get to Huda TV. There's a website, Huda.TV. That's how hard is this? And then get some bumper stickers made up to say Huda TV. We did it for our channel. Mm -hmm. and, and just give them to people. Put a little message on there. You know, something yeah, so yeah. that they feel like, hey, I want to check this out. I think brothers uh, and sisters in the Western world are beginning to hear you right now. We have a phone call from the UK. Brother Abdul Ghafoor. As salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullah How you doing, brother? Uh, I'm a student. Uh, I'm presently speaking from Nigeria. Mashallah. That's UK. Uh, I would like to donate 50 pounds, but I don't know how to make the transaction. MashaAllah. Okay, uh, you can visit our website, inshallah, at huda.tv slash share, and that would be the best way, inshallah, to uh, make a donation if you have a debit card or a credit card or something like that. And for cash, mm -hmm. Western Union. Uh, yes. Shake 50 British pounds. Yes. How many dollars are we But he about? is, I mean, he, he, he is <laughs> donating 50, 50 pounds, you know, so. That's 20 bucks. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. So we don't want to. do something like 50? That. Has a fifty pounds about twenty two dollars. Fifty pounds, is it? Fifty pounds. Five zero. Five zero, right? Fifty pounds. Five zero. Yes. Oh, five zero is going to be seventy five. We got a business man right here. So, Sheikh Said, Mashallah, it looks like we can't beat him. Well, oh, okay. I didn't know that was interesting. Very good. Thank you so much, brother. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala reward you. Sheikh Sheikh Said, actually, he was saying that he is from Nigeria, but he's studying in the UK. That's good. Right now, that's why he's making this conference. So, so, so wait a minute, you, yeah. you're in UK yourself, so you've got that conversion down. Yeah. Okay, everybody in UK, call right now while Sheikh is here. He's still awake, <laughs> been up all night long. He might fall asleep and we won't have a conversion. So we need it. <laughs> right we need now. do it right now. But <laughs> I want to be fun. serious. I want to be very serious about this. Brothers and sisters in Islam, <laughs> I've only been a Muslim 21 years, and in that time I've seen some very scary things. One of the most scary things of all is when you see your Muslim children leaving Islam. Mm -hmm. That is a very scary and horrible thing to imagine because of one simple thing. We have not kept this message in front of our own kids. Now, how can you do it? Well, you can move to Saudi Arabia. You move to Egypt. Or what you can do is put Guidance TV in your home. Now, you say, well, I'm already watching it. Uh, no, you just got a television set or you just got your computer on. I'm saying bring it in your home. Bring it in your home. We have the online academy. Find out about that. Is right? Yeah, of course. www.onlineacademy.com. This is very important what I'm telling you because they can take a full course. Plus, you want to catch the live shows that we have and call in. And then when you get a chance like this to support the channel, you got to do it. Do it. And, and Just and speaking of callers in, Sheikh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. We have two callers starting with Amina from Don't the KSA. Don't apologize. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, call, a sister, Amina, from the KSA. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum and welcome. Salam, hello. Um, Alex. I would like to donate 100 riyal. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you. Allah Allah Allah. Allah. Thank you so much. Allah. We're in this sudden... And we have another call. Yes, we are in sudden... Sister Kothum, we're in sudden death overtime. Sister, we're waiting for your contribution. Thank you for calling. Uh, welcome. Assalamu alaikum, Sister Kathum. Alaikum, Salaam Sister Kathum. Alaikum, Sister from the KSA. Alaikum, Sister Thank you for calling. I'm calling from Sudan. MashaAllah. Uh, I'm a Muslim. Uh, I'm a Muslim. 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 I'm a I just want to find out how to process to the... Was that, was that 3,000 pounds? Again. Sure, certainly, sister. Uh, let me give you that information. Uh, www.huda.tv slash share. 
You go uh, to that website. Oh, just go to that website, Sitch, and you can do it electronically, or the information, our, our bank information yes. will appear on your screen now. But, Sister, did you say you were donating $3,000 uh, or, or pounds? What currency did you say, Sister? I couldn't quite hear you. I think she said 3,000 Sudanese pounds. Yes, Sudanese. Dollars. 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 Yeah. Wow. May Allah, Allah bless your reward. Allah. So, Allah. please, please, Allah. Sister, please visit our website. 3,000 yeah, US dollars. Wow, thank you so much. 3,000 US dollars. And please, sister, go to, go to that website now and, and go ahead and make that transaction, www.hoda.tv slash share. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you, sister. I really like what you said earlier, though, to me, because, I, uh, you know, for all the years that we've been doing this, I, this first time I thought about this, and you said using the Western Union. Right. It's very simple. They can take cash in. I mean, let's say yeah. I got 100 or $200, and I just every month I got $30, mm -hmm. whatever it is, I can just go to the Western Union and then give it to them, and they can send it right away. Just right. get the information from the website, though, right? Right, right. that's right. That's so you what need the website Walmart. to get the information. That's huda.tv slash share. S H A R E share. That's right. Yes. That's, that's what was explained to me. And by we're the in master. sudden death over time, Malik, and you know what it means. It means when they pick up the phone, Call us, tell us your name, where you're at, and what is the amount you want to donate. And we're and running out of time. Yeah, we are. We, we're, we're looking at we're around 30 minutes, brothers and sisters. 30 so minutes uh, left, that's it. So let's give us a call, inshallah. Crank it out, guys. We, gotta do we it. need another $150,000, basically, is what yes. we're talking about. And that $150,000 makes a total of $300,000. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah has given us already half. But the problem is, is as happy mm -hmm. and as pleased we are with what everybody's sacrificing, we understand that creditors don't take half payments. <laughs> they're not going to take a half a payment for the satellite. You know, like, what are they going to cut it off for half the day and then turn it back on? It <laughs> sound like load sharing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, let's work on it. And if you know somebody who needs to do something in Ramadan, you want to encourage them to do this, tell them right now, get on the line. You've got 30 minutes. Let's, let's at least make the Nia. Yes. Of course. Uh, we had one sister made the Nia for how much? I believe she said 1,000 Saudi reals. She said, no, I'm going to donate 1,000 and make a Nia for 100,000, or what was it? I can't quite recall. I'm donating 100 and make, make a Nia for 1,000 or something like Nia this. for later. Don't Earlier. Say that. May, Allah no, make it. May Allah make it as 200,000. Yeah. The, the <laughs> fact is that when you this. make a Nia like that, if you're sincere, Allah can put that and you'd be surprised. Yeah. There's always a Nia, there's always a reward for the Nia, even if you don't have the money. You say, if I have a money like so and so, I would give the, re I would give the money in the sake of Allah. I'll give you the reward of his Nia. But be sure that if he gives it to you, though, you're ready to commit that because yeah. if sincere, oh, it's very dangerous. Yeah, if you're sincere. That kind, of, that kind of words from your mouth can be dangerous because if Allah, you said, if I had a million dollars, I'd give it to Huda TV, okay? okay? So tomorrow, all of a sudden, you find yourself with a million and you're going, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Huda TV saying, well, where is it? Uh -oh. Well, you know, I wanted a new swimming pool and I was thinking about, you know, this new car and I was going to get uh, and uh, the yeah. This would bring nifaq to you, bring hypocrisy. It would destroy you. It's, 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 subhanallah. That would destroy you faster than anything to make that kind of agreement with there's, the law and you don't fulfill it. There's one of the people who used to be the top of, of uh, the companions. He said, if Allah Ta'ala give me such wealth or huge wealth, I will give the sake of Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala, the Quran mentioned him saying, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ عَاهَدَ اللَّهِ لَيْنْ آثَانَ مِنْ فَضْلِ Some of them said, uh, he took an oath saying, if Allah Ta'ala gave me something, uh, a wealth, I will give in his sake. فَلَمَّا آتَاهُمْ بَخِيرُ Allah Ta'ala gave them, he became greedy. SubhanAllah. أَعْقَبَهُمْ نِفَاقًا Allah Ta'ala gave them hypocrisy. Zakallah khair. We have a phone call from Brother Tawfiq from Morocco. Assalamu alaykum. Alaykum salam wa rahmatullah. How you doing Brother Tawfiq? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. From Morocco. Uh, I would like to contribute $1,000, inshallah. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. I do wish I could contribute with more. Allah I love Allah. you guys. I love you, Sheikh Yusuf. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you so much for him and for his family. Maghrib is beautiful. Have you visited Maghrib? Yes, I have. Oh, I love it. I learned to speak. I can speak Maghribi, by the way. <laughs> I know we don't have time, but real quick, I can speak Maghrib. Tajin, 
Pas Pastile. Pastile. <laughs> Couscous. I speak it. I'm fluent. MashaAllah. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, sisters, we are waiting for your phone calls yes. as the time winds down. Yes. We are only Huda a few minutes. must be able yes. to produce this. Yes. And we've got, we've got a deadline at the end of this week. We've got to come up with this. Yes. So, guys, please. This is not a joke. This is very serious. And some of you, I know you could write a check for the whole amount. And you're thinking, yeah, but then I wouldn't be so rich. Well, duh. Allah is the one who gave it to you, okay? Alhamdulillah. So, yeah, you know, uh, well, I heard about a man who sells, listen to this. They said there's a man who sells cars. He buys them for 50,000 jine. And then he sells them for 40,000. And he did so for so long he became a millionaire. How is that? How well, he used to be a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> very, very shaky. So be sure, to, <laughs> be sure that you That's take fun. advantage of this because Allah will increase. It will never decrease. Definitely. What you're doing right now, even one jenea, even one Egyptian pound, if you do it for the sake of Allah, Allah will make it increase. Watch and see. Watch and see. Pick up the telephone. Give us a call. We've only got a few minutes left in this emergency dead heat overtime we're there for you please brothers make it happen because you know the brothers have been here with me or with each other all the night and praying together staying together and it's all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa channel mm -hmm. our channel your channel this channel has got to stay on the air it's got to go and grow and you can make it happen you think about it you know it's Ramadan you know you've got zakat you want to pay you say oh my zakat's too much you know what you can do pay your zakat all right and then take that too much and just give it to Huda TV. You won't have to do it next year. This program is challenging. You don't have to calculate it. <laughs> I believe this program is chal challenging the wealthy Muslims all around the world. We see wealthy Muslims buying yachts and buying sports programs. We don't want to name names. We saw one uh, wealthy Muslim do something very bad recently, which I don't want to repeat here on this program with a lot of money. So these people, it's, I believe it's... You know, they have a greater responsibility to call in and contribute. Now, and I also believe those of us who are from Western countries that we enjoy wealth in the United States and the UK and Europe, mm -hmm. they have a, a, a higher, a greater responsibility uh, because they have been blessed with wealth. So they should give some of that now. And You're benefit, right. m benefit Muslims in, the, in Africa and developing countries all around the world. And some of our brothers and sisters, maybe they're watching us through live streaming and they say, why should I contribute to Huda TV when it's not broadcasting in my country? It's not broadcasting in the UK. Why well, do you it's think it's not there? Hello. Exactly. In the US. Exactly. Why true. is it not there? Yeah, right. duh. Yeah. <laughs> because you're not contributing. Yeah, you right. know, when you do contribute for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we'll be able to get on more satellites. We'll be able to reach out to many more people. The good thing, my, my dear brothers and sisters, is that I want you to know about this channel. And I say this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've seen how the brothers in the financial department handle the money here. And I testify, and this is a, 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 a testimony that I'll be asked about on the Day of Judgment. These are people who will ask about every single pound or every single dollar where it was spent. And they make sure that the money is spent correctly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I testify to this, and this is a testimony that I'll be asked about on the Day of Judgment. This is something that I cannot deny. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them for that. Sister Sara from Bahrain, Salaam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, I wanted to make $200. MashaAllah. Allah Akbar. Barakallahu feek. Barakallahu feek. Barakallahu feek. Barakallahu feek. Bless all of those who are sacrificing for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen. Ameen. Time is winding down. My dear brothers and sisters, we are running out of time. But the time is now to make a donation for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have been on air for more than six hours now, it's it's not easy. It's uh, it's tough. We had iftar. Wait a minute. What time did we start? We started about ten o'clock, nine o'clock Cairo time. We started nine o'clock. Ten o'clock Mecca time. Look right, at brother? your watch again. I'm we started almost watch. nine hours ago, man. Subhanallah. It's, it's f almost five a.m. now, right now. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Five or six. Five. Almost five. Oh, so almost that's uh, eight so hours. Mashallah. Yeah. We're yeah. ready to go more, but we don't have that much time. So the time is yeah, the, the time the, is now, the, isn't it? The, the problem is, for us, it's not so hard sitting in these chairs. The difficulty is for the brothers that's running that camera right there, and this camera, and that camera, and the ones sitting out there in the Obi van, and the ones who are, you know, we've got, it takes about 40 people, minimum crew, yes. just to keep this thing going. And all of them are here looking at us going like, Okay, guys, I started yesterday morning. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm ready for a little bit of snooze time. <laughs>
We talked earlier about the benefits of giving charity mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. wisdom behind it in this month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Can we share with the viewers a couple of verses in Hadith about people, people that have the wealth, but they don't contribute and they hold back? And in, in, the, in the danger of becoming a miser and a greedy person, Sheikh. But before you, before you answer that sure. question, sure. let me take this call from Malaysia. MashaAllah, one of my favorite countries on the face of the earth. Malaysia, although I haven't visited Malaysia yet, I really want to. Go ahead, Sister Jamila. Assalamu alaikum, Sister. Go ahead. Wa alaikum wa I would like uh, to donate 10,000 Malaysian ringgit. MashaAllah, 10,000 Malaysian. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, I'm sorry, the currency, what, what was the currency you said? Uh, Malaysia ringgit. Wonderful, ten thousand. Is that is that rupees? What is it? What what is it? Malaysian what? Malaysian ringgit. Okay. Masha Allah. About one point one point two Saudi. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Saudi area. Okay, okay. Thank very you so wonderful. Much. Thank you so Thank much. you for that generous uh, donation all the way from Malaysia. It's going to take us uh, quite a few minutes to convert that. Three thousand. <laughs> 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 Math teacher. Masha Allah. By the way. Uh, Everybody Masha in Allah. Malaysia, please do not send those through the mail. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, is, that, is that three thousand dollars? Roughly, yeah. Really? Yeah, Around three thousand. Two hundred. These, e these figures are easy, easy for math <laughs> teachers. <laughs> but say, can you give us some hadith or some verses that talk about the danger of becoming greedy and not giving for the sake of Allah when you have the ability to? Subhanallah. First of all, uh, the blessings on on your uh, wealth will be removed. So imagine what Allah, whatever you have in this life, whatever wealth that you manage to save now or to to get now, and this this world will be will be uh, the blessings on it will be removed. So imagine how we gonna how we gonna benefit from it. Secondly, uh, uh, also yourself, okay, يعني, uh, as in the hadith that uh, the shuh, which is the greed, has caused the people before you to be to be uh, uh, or or cause them to be destroyed basically. Mm, okay, uh, and and that will destroy your deen. Your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will cause you will, be, will become attached to this world, inclined towards this world, okay? Yeah. And of course, you regret, you regret it big time. Right. Uh, uh, Sheikh, if I can talk for just a moment, let me take Sister Umm Muhammad from the UAE. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sister Umm Muhammad. Uh, dear brothers, I would like to contribute a hundred UAE uh, dirhams. MashaAllah. A hundred dirhams. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Thank, Thank you so Allah much, Sister. The program. Thank you so much for your contribution. Allah, pray for me that I always contribute on monthly basis, inshallah. Amen. Thank you, Sister. Mashallah. You can do that if you just... Uh, sister. Sister. Exactly. In, 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 sister. So your programs are so good and I benefit from them a lot. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for your wonderful contribution. And I would sir. like all the Muslims around the world to benefit and I would like to share the rewards, inshallah, in the world and here. Thank you so much, Sister, for that wonderful you, contribution. Sir. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, quickly, Sheikh, if I can get one more question from you about zakat. What about the people that withhold uh, people that withhold the zakat? What happens to them in their grave? But before you answer that question, we're going to go to a phone call. Assalamu alaikum. Are you there? We have a sister from Norway on the line. Mashallah, go ahead, sister. All the way from Norway. Great. V via Skype from Norway. Thank you for Skyping us all the way from Norway. Sister, go right ahead. Yes, um, I'm, uh, I'm quite young, actually, 15 years old. And so I would like to donate. Um, um, I would like to donate a hundred U.S. dollars. Ma that's wonderful. Allah. Thank you so much. Allah. We really do appreciate Allah. it, sister. Yes. I love you all for the sake of Allah, and I wish that you stay longer on TV, so um, hopefully you will benefit. Thank you so much, sister. May Allah help you guys and all the Muslims of Norway fasting in these long hours in Norway. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love you as you love this for his sake. And we have Omar from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum, brother Omar. Go right ahead, brother. Hello. How are you? How can I be? Alhamdulillah, brother. Go right ahead, brother. Go ahead. I say, how, how can I make it to Nigeria? All you want to do is you can use Western Union because I know a lot of the Nigerians have trouble uh, with using the, the transfer online. Just visit our website, www.hoda.tv slash share, and, you, and the Western Union information is on that website. So the brothers and sisters in Nigeria can use Western Union. We did it especially for you guys because last time we know you had a lot of problems there making transfers from Nigeria. So please just visit the website, which is on, your, on the screen now, www.hoda.tv slash share. Thank you so much, Brother Omar from Nigeria. Brother, how much are you willing to donate? Thank you. Can you share it with the viewers? 
Oh, okay, I think we lost Brother Omar. Thank you uh, so much. Sheikh, before the call, I want to ask you, what happens to the people in the grave that withhold their zakat? Well, there's a hadith that says that, uh, the hadith is some of said is sound, and some is speak. However, it says that uh, the person who doesn't give zakat in the grave will be uh, a, a, a snake will be there with him and will keep on biting him. With red eyes. Until the, hira, until the day of judgment. Yeah. So, <laughs> it is, it is, it is not uh, the, the sound. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who has, has, has uh, brought you into existence, from non-being to a being, from non-existence to an existence, the one who owns the, 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 the whole universe, and uh, the one who's promising you that if you give for his sake, he will give you a replacement, okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordering us, all of us, that we have to give zakah from our money if we, if we reach that uh, threshold point here. This is Allah's commandment, Allah's direction, Allah's order upon us. Mm. Excuse me yeah. to interrupt for just a moment. We have Brother Yasser with us who's calling us from Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing, Brother Yasser? I would like to thank all of you for sitting there for so long and spending so much time and uh, the rest of for all the programming mm -hmm. and during exactly. the time, it was very, very beneficial to us. Exactly. We're trying to do our part, Brother, to, to share in the rewards, inshallah. Go ahead, Brother Yasser, okay. continue. I, I'll, I'll try to be louder. I'm just saying... I would like to thank you, Jazakumullah Khair, for all oh, your yeah, programming yeah. during Ramadan. And, and it was very beneficial to us. Thank May Allah bless you, reward you. Thank you so much, Brother Yasser, for your call. I would, I would like to ask a question and make a donation as well. Please. Can, can I give some of my, can I give some zakat money towards this contribution? Can you give your zakat can you, can money? Can you give some zakat money for, the, for, for uh, this cause? Which zakah? Zakah of the money or zakah of the fitr? Which zakah? Zakah, zakah, zakah al-mal. You're talking about zakah al-mal, right? Yes, yes. Zakah al-mal. Okay. Yeah, I think there, is a, there is a fatwa you have, yes? You have fatwa that you can receive zakah. And this is one of the causes. The majority of the scholars we asked about Huda TV and the Rahma channel and Gaddis TV, all of the majority. Mm. And I, when I say majority, I'm going to say 80, 90 percent of them. They said because the seven points uh, the seven categories. Uh, categories, thank you. Of zakah, that dawah is one of those. And if you agree that dawah is one of those, then yes, because this is a dawah channel. Simple right, as that. Of course. Uh, Allah Ta'ala is saying, Udu'u ila sabi rabbika. Call towards the Lord Ta'ala. Ta it's a wajib yeah. for us to call towards Allah Ta'ala. Yeah. And we can know call towards Allah Ta'ala unless we have the means. Yeah. Of course. Brother Yasser, that's the answer from uh, the Shaykh, Shaykh Saeed, and uh, Shaykh Yusuf asked this for you. Yeah, no, from him. <laughs> May Allah make he it produced more than a contribution me. with us tonight, inshallah, <laughs> or this morning. I guess it depends where we are. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Brother Yash, are you there? Are you there? I think we lost oh, Brother Yash. I hope that he heard him. Then he left. <laughs> Brother Yash is, <laughs> Bro is still with us. Brother Yash. Okay, it looks Maybe. like uh, the phone line cut off. Uh, Hopefully, we can get Try to give us a call back, Brother Yash. Uh, Brother Omar, Assalamu alaikum. Brother Abdullah from Jordan. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. May Allah bless you. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you, Brother Abdullah? How old are you, Brother? Alhamdulillah. I am 13. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Bless you. Are you going to contribute tonight, inshaAllah? What? Are you going to contribute tonight? Yes, inshaAllah. $100. MashaAllah. Thank you, young man. Thank you so much, Brother Abdullah. Barakallahu feek. You know, we're, we're hearing a 15-year-old uh, young man, actually. Uh, well, he's not a boy anymore, really. 15 years old, a young man. Right. Here in Jordan, he's coming up with $100. We heard earlier a young girl, I think she was nine. Is it $20, Sheikh? She said? Yeah, $20. Right, right. From their own money. I heard him saying from their own money. Yeah, it, it makes us shy. Money, this yeah. is uh, Aib, actually. Yeah. So you're sitting there. you got ten or $20,000 sitting there. And you're saying, oh, I have to pay zakah on it. I'm saying, you don't have to pay zakah on it. It's very simple. Donate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have, well, really, what are you keeping it for? You just so you can pay zakah on it every year? Why? Because as soon as you give it, Allah will put it to work for you. And it will be an investment you will never forget. And you'll be the happiest person ever. 
جزاك الله خير فونتانا فروم سعودي ارابيا السلام عليكم الو وعليكم السلام يا سيستر يا اي ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله تبارك الله سبحان الله we're getting a lot of go ahead sister go ahead sorry cut you off okay thank you so much thank you sister brother you had a nice comment you've been saying no reward no contribution is too small no contribution is too big today we took one for twenty dollars and what was the largest we took I believe twenty five he called back and said thirty five didn't he thirty five so it's amazing, isn't it? Alhamdulillah. But subhanAllah, we don't know uh, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person who donated one dollar could be, you know, could have a bigger reward than a person who donated a million dollars. So that's why it no depends on how much you have. Yeah. Out of how much you give in one thousand. And, yeah. and the sincerity. And yes. sincerity as well. Not to show it off. Yes. You know, the one who started the whole thing, our very first caller called in and he said, I want to donate $25,000. SubhanAllah. Yes, SubhanAllah. I think that's let's, the same Let's brother, don't forget that. That changes it later to 35,000. I mean, I mean from Mecca. He was called from Mecca. Yeah. Yeah. Some people they may think, okay, uh, we shouldn't give uh, donation in public. Mm. Let's make a secret and that will be more Th rewarding. And that's acceptable. Ac acceptable. But what is better in such cases? It depends on the, 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 the circumstances. Yes. Now, if you give in public, you will encourage others. Well, that's true. Yeah. And therefore, when you give in public, Allah Ta'ala, in this, uh, this, is, uh, in this time, this occasion, it would be better than giving in, in mm. secret. Okay. Yeah, Allah Ta'ala sure. in the Quran said, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ Those who give in charity by day and night. سِرَّهُ وَعَلَانِيَةِ In public and in secret. فَلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ They will have a reward from Allah Ta'ala and they will have no fear in the hereafter and, and no grief as well. SubhanAllah. When you said this ayah uh, reflected on the first part of it, you said people who give charity day and night. People give charity day and night. And subhanAllah, we've been on here during yeah. the night. <laughs> so and we're still on. <laughs> so, and, okay, and those of you the sitting there at home, you watch this in the night. Now you have to give him the day too. <laughs> <laughs> subhanAllah. So, I mean, I never, never really understood this ayah until, until right now. Means that you yeah. just give constantly. Continuous. Continuous different chain. ways. Yeah. Those things are just given in secret. Give in public as well. Because when he carried other Rasulullah when he said That's to right. the companions, who will donate for this uh, cause, uh, the Battle of uh, Tabuk? Abu Bakr came and said, oh, Rasulullah, I brought this to you. What, what, what I believe for your family? Nothing. Allah mm. Rasulullah. I believe in Allah's uh, replacement and Allah's uh, conversation. And, Allah and, and we know that Abu Bakr uh, was from the richest companions. Yes. Although he gave, on one occasion, he gave all of his wealth. SubhanAllah. <laughs> Sheikh Yusuf, uh, we have a, a lot of people. Uh, I'll ask you in just a moment, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum. Brother Ma'roof. From Bahrain, Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, I want to donate $500 for. Mashallah, that's wonderful. $500, Mashallah. Brother Maruf did a Maruf for us and he's not even. $500 himself. He's stuck. Let's just make it right. Yes, Maruf. What did you say, Maruf? Hello? Yes, Maruf, go ahead. Can you give your account number? You can display. Okay, inshallah, the account number is going to be on the screen. It's going to come up uh, mom momentarily, inshallah. And at the same time, um, join us uh, on our website, huda.tv slash share. You'll find the bank account info on there also, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. Sheikh Yusuf. Um, uh, I want to repeat what you said. Yes. huda.tv slash s-h-a-r-e. Make sure mm -hmm. it's lowercase letters. And when you go there, you're going to find the information you need for a bank transfer any kind of uh, regular payments that you would like to do and plus the western union information is there for those of you who are in yes. uh, places or you have amounts or whatever you want to do with, with western union it's very simple it's one of the easiest it's a little expensive in a way but it's all going to be ajr for you anyway yes. okay but uh, do it the whole thing is just just do it go ahead and the, and the we have uh, the phone, uh, the, the bank account info is on the screen right now for brothers and sisters to, uh, to, to give us a call, mm -hmm. inshallah. Brother Yasser from Saudi Arabia, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I got disconnected earlier. Yes, brother Yes, I remember you from earlier, yes. Yes, I would like to make a donation of 2,500 Saudi riyals. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your contribution. Brothers and sisters, the time to donate is now.
Okay, I believe we have about 10 minutes left. We were on air at about uh, 4.20 local time and it's 5.10 right now. So we have about five, uh, almost 5.10. We have about 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left to share the reward and help the TV stay on air. This is not a joke, as Sheikh Yusuf said many times, as I'm saying right now. Uh, we can all of us can be home right now with our families, but we're here with you so that we can make sure that Huda TV continues. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us and from you all our efforts, whether they're uh, donations or whether they're physical efforts. So please continue giving us a call on our phone lines, inshallah, and contribute at huda.tv slash share. Sheikh Yusuf, uh, let's, uh, let's be honest. I mean, we can't be naive and think that there are not people out there who are working very hard and they have their own funding machines to attack Islam through the media and of course to attack Islam and to attack Muslim countries but we're talking specifically about media what are we going to do to have our own machines not only to defend Islam but to make people face Islam uh, first of all let's not put it in this uh, context I want to make it very clear that everything is from Allah yes and it's not a matter that the devil is fighting God and God's fighting the devil like in Christianity. This is something very simple. It's all from Allah. If you want Islam to be successful in your life, Islam is success. So let's, you know, let's get With that us apart. Or us. But, if, but if you want the Islam in your life, then you have to apply it. And part of that is to clean up your act. And the, the word zakah has to do with purification. Mm -hmm. And the word sadaqah has to do with being uh, honest yes and truthful uh, truthful and so these words in don't translate properly to English we're saying charity mm. poor do things like this and it really it doesn't give the essence and I, I really wish that uh, we have time to elaborate but I want to take a phone call yes let's do we have a phone call from the KSA assalamu alaikum and welcome to share the reward brother Abu Aziz go ahead brother wa alaikum salam okay I will uh, Sharing with the 20,000 riyal. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. 20,000 riyal. Allahu Akbar. Thank you, brother. MashaAllah. Brother, thank you for your contribution, brother. MashaAllah. 20,000. That's brother Abdulaziz from the KSA who has generated. 20,000. 20,000. That's brother Abdulaziz from the KSA with 20,000. 20,000 Saudi riyal, brother. Thank you so much. Ya Rahman, Ya Latif. Ya Rabbi. Ya Rabbi. We make dua for you and for your family. Um, and Allah grant you health. Allah grant you ease. Allah grant you tawfiq. Amen. And Allah give this for you and for your family. Allahumma and Allah bless your intention and keep it pure for him. Amin. Ya Amen. Rabbil Alameen. Amen. Also for all of you who have been so generous and to help this cause for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are making dua for all of you right now. Yes. There are only minutes left, and while I'm making this dua, if you would like, just call in and do what you want to do, or increase what you have done already. Some of the brothers and sisters have done that tonight. They have gone ahead and said, you know what, I gave some, but let me give some more. And I've seen this in fundraising before, that people understand the more that they give, that, and they catch this. Look, this is Hidayah. Because you give an amount and then Allah puts it in your mind, give more and you give more. And shaitan, it breaks his back. Yes. This breaks the back of shaitan. It's like the person who says, I'm not sure that I prayed correctly. Let me make the sajda, the two sajdas, the sajda as mm -hmm. Like you forgot something? He says, you know, I, I think I did forget. Let me make two sajda. Shaitan hates it when you do that because because you are doing what he refuses to do. Yes. And subhanAllah, we're at a time, Sheikh Yusuf, right now in the beautiful month of Ramadan where the major shayateen are chained up. Yes. And they're locked up. So yeah. we need yeah. to take advantage They're not dead. Of yes, they're, they're not, not dead. They're not dead. Believe me. <laughs> they're, they're, ready to, they're ready to get back out there. Yeah, there and this, this could Ramadan be a over. protection for you when the shaytan are released. Yes. This could be the little bubble that protects you. Yes. And imagine... Uh, go ahead, Sheikh. Go ahead. I just want to say that, uh, I add to Sheikh uh, Yusuf what he just mentioned now, that uh, uh, shaytan as well will promise you poverty. Whenever you want to give something, you're talking to you, oh, you want to become poor? Yes. Allah Ta'ala in the Quran addresses this matter when he spoke about giving in, in, in the cause of him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, الشيطان يعيدكم الفقر ويأمركم بالفحشاء The shaytan is promising you poverty and he's commanding you to fall in debauchery or in decency. Yes. والله يعيدكم مغفرة منه وفضل Allah Ta'ala is promising you with forgiveness and 
richness. Allah Ta'ala will enrich you, make you rich. Yes. So you will have forgiveness from Allah Ta'ala. So charity is what will, will cause your uh, sins to be erased. And it will, it will enrich you further. Subhanallah. It's from Allah Subhanahu Ta'ala. Yes. Sister Noor from Qatar. Assalamu alaikum. Allah Akbar. May Allah make it, inshallah Ta'ala. Sister Noor, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. For the country of, uh, I want to donate another 5,000 at this. I'm sorry, sister, we couldn't quite hear you. Can you repeat that? Turn off the TV, the sound. Turn, uh, mute the sound. Go, go ahead, sister, go ahead. I, have, have, have. I would like to donate 500 US dollars. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah. I think she called earlier and made a previous and donation as well. And Jazakallah for everything. My husband was inspired by Huda TV and got his guidance from there. Alhamdulillah. Allah. Allah. Is this Allah. is this sister yes. or is this sister Five years ago. MashaAllah, five years ago. That was five years ago, but Alhamdulillah, we met last year and got married. So this is my way of saying Jazakallah. <laughs> Allah, Allah. Is, are you Are you Sister Noor or are you Sister Amatullah? Yes, I'm Sister Amatullah. I wouldn't okay. like to say my name because um, I yes. would like to keep it. You uh, are, you are Amatullah. You are the female slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From Oman, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And Alhamdulillah. inshallah khair, I will make this a regular thing monthly. Allahu Akbar! <laughs> Allahu Akbar! Barakallah <laughs> feekum. Inshallah. Allah make... TV always. It should never, Ameen. never go Ameen. off Ameen. 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 Masha'Allah. Ameen. 500 US uh, dollars. Masha'Allah. And she wants to do it That's every month? Right. Yes. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. And all thanks to Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Okay, now, you know, we broke it down a little earlier. I went to the camera and I showed what it costs for different things. I Listen stepped over here to the crane and we talked about that we have to pay for the rental on that thing. We've talked about some of the aspects of the equipment, but there are people out here, human beings, that need to eat, that need to have clothes for Eid for their children, that need to have the little something extra, and they've sacrificed all year. Can we give them a bonus? And the answer is no, we can't. Unless we reach this goal. This is why we set the goal. We looked at this very hard and, and tough before we even set the amount. Because they said, well, you know, we don't want to put too much pressure on the people, and blah, blah, blah. And I said, what difference does this make? If, if Allah wants people to do something, they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. The pressure is on us. And if we have to stay here night and day, then that's it. Let's take a phone Let's call. Let's take a phone call. We have Omu Aisha from the KSA. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Welcome. The KSA is reading now. Walaikum as Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for calling, sister. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, my daughter had called earlier this night, uh, last night actually, and she had contributed from her pocket money, like I think 350 mm -hmm. uh, okay, reals. Then she said that I'm also going to contribute like 1000. But just now, when I heard the Sheikh talk about the contribute, if you like spend in the cause of Allah uh, day and night, and you will be rewarded, you will not be disappointed on the day of judgment. So I just want to be from one of those people, inshallah. So I want to contribute like uh, 5,000 more. Oh, $5,000? Yeah. 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 And one more thing, inshallah, tomorrow we are going to Makkah for 27th night. Inshallah, I'll definitely pray for Huda TV. Please, Allah. please make, make dua for us specifically. That if there's anything that I like to ask for, is make dua for the people sitting here, for all the brothers, <laughs> especially if it, it turns out to be later to Qadr. Exactly. <laughs> for all the brothers who are uh, who are working behind the scenes here at Huda TV and the sisters as well. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Well, so Subhanallah. After hearing the ayah of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala from Sheikh Saeed, she changed her contribution from one thousand to five thousand. Five thousand Saudi riyals. So Barakallah. So see, this is this is how a true Muslim should be. They should hear. Allah said, the Prophet Sallallahu said, that should make a change in their life. Semina wa atana. Yes. We hear and, and obey. we obey. And the amazing thing about contributing. Khayn. Sister Noor, yeah. assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers. I want to donate another 5,000 Qatar riyal. Allah. Allahu Allah. Akbar. Allah. 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 We want to be part of, we want to be part of Huda family's members. Please, Sheikh, please make dua to all the Muslim Ummah. Please, please, please. Jazakallah mm. khair for spreading, for spreading the, the, the deen of Allah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. That's amazing. Ya Latif. 
El Hadi. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of those who have sacrificed, whether it be with their money or with their time, or their expertise, those brothers and sisters working behind the scenes, our camera operators, our staff, all of those who have sacrificed for this year mm. and put up with so much. Having to put up with me alone is too much. I ask Allah to bless them, to reward them, to sustain them, Amen. to give them the tawfiq on the Day of Judgment, yeah. forgive them of their sins, and put them in the highest place of Jannah, Jannah to Firdaus Allah. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Latif, Ya Latif, I mean. Ya Rabbil Alameen, 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 Ya Latif, I Uh, I think I think you're you're speaking Moroccan now, right? <laughs> so, so yeah, well, no. Uh, anyways, uh, my wife will match the one thousand, and uh, she will add in some another one thousand. Masha Allah, one thousand dollars. So and uh, inshallah, so I, I I give one thousand, and she will match that, and she will give one thousand dollars. We are contributing with two thousand dollars. Masha Allah, Allahu Akbar. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you both en enter into Jannah hand in hand, with uh, Allah ta'ala. I just, I just, just want to share something. Uh, my wife is a convert. She's a convert. Uh, and uh, this channel is, uh, is you, my brother also is married to convert. And this channel is a great channel. Uh, and uh, most people do not realize how much it's so important to uh, uh, English speaking convert. So, may Allah bless you and we uh, love you guys. Amen, Ya Rabb. Zakallah khayyim. May Allah bless you. Subhanallah, brothers, um, on my program, one step closer uh, this year in Ramadan, the most feedback that I'm getting is from new Muslims, converts to Islam, people yes. who are learning the basics of, of the deen of Allah yes. subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, alhamdulillah, Rabb. We have a phone call from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum well, Sam, brother, what's your name? Hello? Yes, brother, what's your name, brother? Uh, my name is Ibrahim. Yes, brother Ibrahim. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to thank uh, the Huda TV family for making this great contribution. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, may Allah help and uh, continue to guide all the brothers that help in this uh, in this holy holy month of Ramadan. We actually benefit a lot. Alhamdulillah. And Alhamdulillah. I want to make a contribution of hundred dollars. Thank, Thank you so much, brother. Zakallah khair. Mashallah. Brother Muhammad from the United States. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, he's hearing them. That's what I hear. Oh, you can't. Family of Brother Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. Go to the room. No, no, no. Assalamu alaikum. Everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, inshallah. We'll go. We'll get back to that, inshallah, once uh, we have it uh, corrected, inshallah. Zakum All right. Um, Sheikh Yusuf, I think we're over our time. But yes. uh, they haven't told me to stop yet. Just and honestly, chugging. I'm going to They probably going. fell asleep or they <laughs> left. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody in the control <laughs> booth. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, maybe we're not on air. How can, how can we tell? Yeah, <laughs> we can tell if we're on the air, guys. Call us. <laughs> exactly. Call that us with the a donation of $150,000 so we can wrap it up. The only way that we can know we are still on air is that if you call us and your phone, uh, phone calls get through. I'm joking, by the way. We are on air. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Continue to give us a call. We're going to be here for as long as we can, even if, I don't know what happens, but even if people fall asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was asleep. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, you know what I wanted to share with you guys? The yes. interesting thing about contributing to Huda TV, mm. truly, is that it reaches so many people. Yes, if it If you does. give a little bit of money in your neighborhood, it, I mean, that yeah. benefits the people. That's but imagine right. if you're sitting in San Francisco, where I'm from, and you donate even $10, and it benefits somebody in... Abuja, Nigeria. It's an opportunity to help exactly. people in other parts of the world. Really, yeah, it's amazing. Well, the most important thing is for people to know what's Islam. 
Uh, beyond that, yeah. then there, then comes the food and drink and all. Because if you don't know Islam, you don't know. If you die without Islam, what is the benefit of this life? Exactly. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Big goose egg. Nothing. Nothing. Zip. Well, asr in the insan ala fi khusr. Illa ladina amanu wa amilu salahati. So what I'm saying, uh, to be clear about this subject, that we must put this out. I know it, we got to give charity to the people. They have food. They need hunger. You know, they they're we hungry. Don't they need, need food. No one needs hunger. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. People, they need, right? Yes. And we understand needy, Ms. Sakin. But, but that was more important. But, but they got to get this message. Exactly. exactly. I always ask a question. You know, I was pondering this question. Why the prophets... Or the messengers were given a high, uh, a very high status in the sight yes. of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Why? Is it because of their uh, knowledge? Because of their worship? What was the reason behind uh, g giving them or having uh, the highest status in the sight of Allah Taala? I think it's because they were involved in da'wah. They were involved because in Because they were people. involved in da'wah, and that's why they were given such status. Is, is the right? Is the right? Uh, the willingness of the heart to serve. Yeah, and because once you give da'wah, the, the, the benefit is not uh, for you only, it will spread everywhere. Yes. yes. Everyone who does it yeah. has a domino effect. That's right. Yes. Alhamdulillah. I mean, let's take this phone call. Brother Muhammad is back with us again right. from the United States. This time, I believe he's alone. Assalamu alaikum, <laughs> Brother Muhammad. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Brother Muhammad, how many, how many children do you have? I have one daughter. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So, the, I mean, there were a lot of people in, involved <laughs> in the, the first phone call, MashaAllah. <laughs> welcome, 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 Brother Muhammad. I've been trying for an hour to get to you guys, inshallah. Oh, I'm finally connected. Alhamdulillah, we're, we're happy that you're with us, MashaAllah. Barakallah feek, may Allah bless you. Go ahead, go ahead with your thoughts, inshallah. Uh, we love Huda TV here in the U.S. Uh, we've been watching Huda for the past two years, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Um, we love Sheikh Salah and everyone on Huda TV. Uh, my daughter is two years old. Alhamdulillah, she was brought into the Huda family. <laughs> and she's familiar with every one of you Sheikhs on there. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And me and my family would like to make a donation to keep the channel running. Please. Allah Akbar. And we would like to donate 500 U.S. dollars. Allah Allah. Allah. Bless you. May Allah bless Allah. you. Allah. 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 What state are you in, Brother Muhammad? I was Muhammad? about to ask, Sheikh Yusuf. Allah. Where are you calling What's from, state? brother, in the United States exactly? What city? What state? Uh, we're in New York. All right. Allah. Uh, New York. MashaAllah. <laughs> What, okay, well, thank you, so, brother, for your uh, your generous contribution of 500 yeah, U.S. dollars. You know, Huda has been working real hard in the New York area. We have Huda on one of the local cable channels there. Mm -hmm. Allah okay. Allah. It's Allah. local cable, yeah, northern, New, York, okay. yeah, northern New Jersey, southern uh, part of New York, where New York City is, that area, yes. Manhattan yes. area and all. Yes. We do have it. We did. I don't know what's going on with it now, but we have had it there, and... Uh, and subhanAllah, yeah, so some people may think... Well, I forgot about that till he said it, actually. I forgot about that. Some people may think that's a small area, but there are a lot of Muslims <laughs> living there. A lot of yeah, Muslims right. living there, I'm sure, I'm sure yeah. you know that. Well, uh, after 9-11, they said you could not get a cab driver anywhere in New York because they were all Muslims, and none of them showed up for work after 9-11. Because <laughs> they didn't want anybody bothering them about what happened. You and know? they did, they stabbed that gentleman from Bangladesh, if you remember that. By the way, I don't know if you know this, this is not related to our fundraising. <laughs> But in Manhattan on 9-11, of the 2,700 or 2,900 people who okay. perished, who died there, almost 500 of them were Muslims. Mm -hmm. And we don't hear that in the mainstream media. That's why it's such a blessing to have her TV, so we can get this information out to viewers. Isn't that it? came from uh, Guidus TV, I, and I didn't know that. In, in that I did not know the information. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> Shaky, couldn't we resist did the research. <laughs> yeah, it's true, though. It's true. <laughs> So this is the importance of Islamic media, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Alaykum salam, brother, go ahead. We're doing great, brother. Thank you so much for calling. Go ahead. What's your name, brother? Where are you calling from? My name is Abdullah Isa from Ghana. MashaAllah from Ghana. Allah. Wonderful, brother. Go right ahead. Yes. I'm on air. Yes, yes, brother, go ahead. You're live. Go ahead. We can all hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say... Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank you for that. Rahmatullah. May Allah bless you. I guess in the Allah bless those who donate all this kind of money. Amen. Amen. Allah has been 
this dua every night brother assalamu alaikum ya sheikh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah abdullah 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 the sheikh has a message for you go ahead sheikh abdullah if you cannot do anything anything just at least have intention to donate inshallah ta'ala yes. for yes. have okay inshallah okay. inshallah okay. inshallah okay. inshallah okay. inshallah 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 Take something and donate it. You don't have to donate it to Huda TV. But even if you have a date, give the date to somebody in Ramadan to eat. Give, start learning how to give. This is a problem with us. We haven't learned how to give from our hearts. Just keep giving and giving and giving. And you will find that you have more than you need. Yes. Yes. Allah wa ta'ala. Yes. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Go ahead. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Go ahead, sister. What's your name? I'm from Saudi Arabia. You come from Saudi Arabia. What's your name, sister? I'm Khadija. Sister Khadija. I'm Khadija. Yes, go okay. ahead, sister. Yes, Khadija, go ahead. I would like to contribute with one thousand uh, one hundred uh, dollars, please. Wonderful. Allah bless you. Just be sure, sister. I have a request, brother. Please. Go, the go. number that you are displaying on the screen, I wasn't able to note it down. Sure, would you like us to put that information on the screen again for you, sister? Yes, please. Sure, sure. sure. I really go ahead with my contribution. Okay, just get your pen and paper ready, and inshallah the brothers in the van will will put that information on the screen yes, for you sure. shortly. Thank well, you, sister. Well, 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 yeah, don't tell them it's a van, it's a control booth. Control the, the control yeah. booth, I'm yeah, sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. We're giving away how poor we really are. Wafi from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam How's it going? Is the sun out yet? Because uh, I'm inside of a dark studio and I can't really tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin. Alhamdulillah. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, I, I, first of all, I would like to net was 100 US dollar. MashaAllah. Okay, but, but I, I, I wish you, Mr. Mr. Yusuf, let this make dua for me and your bit after him, please. Allahumma ya Rab, ya Rahman, ya Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you ease in this life and grant you the tawfiq on the day of judgment and put you in the dhil on the day when there's no dhil except the dhil of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen. And put you in the highest part of Jannah and put all of us there with you. Ameen. I snuck that in there. I had to sneak that in there. Ya Rab. Ya Rab. I know it was greedy, but I had to do that. Guys, you know, subhanAllah, yeah, we, you know, to, we have pushed everybody to the limit. To be in the shade, to be, to be in the shade limit. of the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is no. such a, a great thing. Yes. And subhanAllah, one of one of the ways we can achieve that is through sadaqah. Is yes. Through giving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who give for the sake of Allah, those who love each other for the sake of Allah. Yes. This is also important. And by the way, I love everybody here in, in this Allah whole Allah. operation for the sake of Allah. I have a question. Allah Allah Allah. And Please. to the all viewers as well. Uh, are we going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Before we get... Yes, yes we, we have a call. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Go we ahead. Have, we have a phone call. Uh, brothers, if I can please ask you in the control room to let me know the name of the person so that They're we can... They're asleep, man. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering you myself. You don't have anybody in the control room. Did they fall asleep on the so line? The calls are coming in. I <laughs> Sorry about that. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead. Okay, actually, you know what? That, that what you guys are saying is not a joke. It's actually mm -hmm. true. Subhanallah. The, the, what? We know it's not someone, a joke. Someone, someone, someone 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 gonna stop then? Because the calls <laughs> keep coming in. Honestly, I'm sitting here trying to keep my body away. We can't blame them. We can't blame them. You know, this is not a regular day. <laughs> They've been on I really that. apologize. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Go ahead, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. 
Oh, the line. Oh, no. It's like the phone line cut off. Brother, please try to give us a call back. Uh, you know, it. hopefully, inshallah, we, uh, get we, we can uh, get people My question is, we're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes? Yes. Yes, we all believe in this. Yes. The Quran told us clearly that we're going to meet him. In kullu man fi samawati wal ardi illa atir rahmani abda, everyone in the heaven and the earth will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a slave. SubhanAllah. Laqad ahsahum wa'addahum ma'adda ra'ala has counted them with full counting and he knows every one of them. وَكُلُّهُمْ آتِيهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَرُدًا And everyone shall meet him alone. alone. Without interpreter, without helper, without a defender, without <sighs> anyone to help you at that moment. You will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and look at the advice of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for us for that meeting. How to prepare ourselves for that, for that meeting. Oh, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that uh, uh, you will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sahih Bukhari. And without interpreter. And you will look at your right, you will see nothing but your actions. And you will look at your left, you will see nothing but your actions. And you will look behind, you will see the hellfire. So protect yourself from the hellfire even by donating as little as half of a date. If you don't have anything in your life but ha you have a date, at least give half of it to for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that moment. For that meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah. I mean, when I, when I think about that, uh, tears come to my eyes. Uh, you, we're going to be standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, by ourselves. Such a hard and a very tough feeling to be standing alone. And the only thing that you'll have with you, as Sheikh Said said, are your actions. And I, I see uh, Sheikh Yusuf getting emotional. I mean, because what happens when those actions on the left outweigh the ones on the right? You know, the Ashabu Yameen, we want to be of the people of the right, not the people of the left, because you know what it means. Yeah. And this is a chance for me, I'm talking about Yusuf Estes right now, I need to go to Jannah. Why did I come to Islam? Why do I do what I do? I want to go to Jannah. Why do you think I came here? I want to go to Jannah. And while we're talking to you right now, I hope Allah is going to accept this from us. And by the way, I know the shaitan talks to everybody. He, he can't stop. That's his deal. But you've got a brain. You can figure this out. If any one of us wanted to make money, it wouldn't be doing what we're doing. This is not for money. This is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you can put yourself in our shoes and think about that just for a minute, you'll realize that you can join us right now with your dua, with the opportunity to share on Facebook, tell them about Huda TV, on Twitter, and on the blogs, the forums that you can go to, emails, just put at the bottom of every email, just have your, you know, the signature thing you can do on your emails. Make it so it says visit www.huda.tv yeah. and then let people know about this. Even they're not Muslim, let them know about Huda TV because we've got a great project here. And then, of course, with your sponsorship. You can sponsor more than just a few dollars. You can commit to doing something on a regular basis. Some of you have the ability to do $1,000 a month, maybe 500 a month. It doesn't matter. You know what your budget will allow. And some of you could write a check right this minute for the whole thing that we've been trying to work on all night long. Yes. Since last night, since before Tarawi, since Isha last night, we were working on this project, and they spent all day, the brothers who do all of this work around here, they spent all day yesterday getting it ready. Mm -hmm. Imagine 24 hours worth of work, going constant. We've got brothers, you don't know this, they're working in the booth, they're working with the cameras, they're doing stuff here. You didn't know. Some of them are barely able to stand up right now, but well, only for one reason, and that's so that you and I can go to Jannah. Let's figure it out. Let's do it. Pick up your checkbook, look in there, what's the balance? Do it. You know what you've got stored away? Do it. Just do it. Pick up the telephone and do it. Yes. You'll be happy. <laughs> It'll be the happiest moment of your life when you do this for the sake of Allah. Do it. Barakallah uh, khairan. Fortunately, we ran out of time. We are over time, but we ran out of time. I want to give the brothers and sisters the final count that I got uh, from inside the control room. Uh, $152,300. 
$152,300 is the final count that we have with us right now of how much brothers and sisters have contributed. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. I think we met a little bit over half of our goal. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Everything is a blessing from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, but we need your continuous contributions so that we can make this successful. And even though the program has ended technically, right. sharing the reward has not ended. The website is still up there, huda.tv slash share. As Sheikh Yusuf says, huda.tv slash s-h-a-r-e, huda.tv slash share. Please continue uh, sending us uh, your uh, your donations, inshallah. I'd like to thank all of you. Uh, Sheikh Saeed, you have a final word you'd like to say? Final inshallah. word. If, if you don't have money for the viewers, if you don't have money, you cannot donate anything, at least take this project and this uh, matter to someone that you know who's rich and who can donate to Sheikh of Allah yes. Taala, And you will have... The same reward as him or as her. Jazakumullah khair. Barakallah feek. Sheikh Saeed, uh, really, really thankful Zain. to you for Barakallah being with us, uh, Brother Malik. My pleasure. Thank, thank you, Brother. Thank you. Thank you. So really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much, Brother. Sheikh Yusuf, of course, I mean, uh, after the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the work that has been done tonight uh, comes down to you. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. Barakallah. You came, especially you flew many, many hours to be here. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and reward you for that. Uh, making yeah, you still good deeds, inshallah. May Allah reward all of you. May Allah keep our near, our intention pure for Him. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I'd like to take a moment to thank all the guests that joined us here uh, on the set who are not with us right now, but uh, who are with us yes. uh, throughout the telethon. Yes. Thank you so much. Anybody who came in uh, through Skype, anybody who came in through our phone lines, anyone who was with us here in the studio, all our brothers and sisters who called from all around the world. I think tonight we hit a record number of phone calls. We yes. took a record number of phone calls yes. by the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'd like to thank especially all the brothers uh, mm -hmm. and sisters and everybody who's working behind the scenes and everybody who's been working for the past month to make sure that these seven or eight hours happen. Ask them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward them, to bless them. And we at the end thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to be alive in order to uh, share the reward with you and so that you can share the reward with us. Jazakumullah khairan. Our regular programming continues right now, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah knows what's best for us So why should we complain We always want the sunshine But He knows there must be rain We always want the laughter and the merriment of cheer But our hearts will lose their tenderness If we never shed a tear So whenever we feel that Everything's going wrong It is just Allah's way To make us peace